This week, Dave's back on the Niagara River for the springtime bite. Can you guess what he'll be throwing? If you guess jerkbait, well, yeah, that was pretty obvious. One fish. Oh, big one, too. Big one. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Abu Garcia for life. Yamaha, conquer water. Live target, lifelike lures. Action car and truck accessories, the right customer experience. Berkeley, catch more fish. And Phoenix Bass Boats, experience the Phoenix difference. Follower. Eat it. Big one. It's a big one right there. Fish. Oh, big one too. Big one. <laughs> it's that stop and go of a jerk bait that wow, it's a good one that drives these fish all crazy this time of year. Oh. Not near as big as I thought, but that that's the reason right there. I mean, that fish was originally hooked like this and you start pulling it through the water, it feels a whole lot bigger. But it makes this show more exciting, let's be honest. I'm gonna let him go. That's one. Now here's always the time. It's the time of the show. I mean, we're number one. People are screaming at their screen saying, put your freaking hat on. I can't see anything. There you go. But it's the time of the show where you wonder, was that fish a sign or was it a decoy? Right now it's a sign. We'll find out in time if it becomes a decoy. This segment is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. Come on. That's a fishy cast right there. Right on that edge. There he is. What that thing? You could almost call your shots. This one was horseshoot as well. Junior, get up here. Spot lock, little dude. Again, 
See what I'm saying? Just swatting at those baits. It's also a major reason why I love a jerk bait to have three hooks this time of year. Just up to your odds. Now a jerk bait is a bait you get pretty used to me throwing all year around, but really when it's super excels in my opinion is early in the year you get water temperature 50 60 degrees it's a perfect smallmouth bait why just because it has that stop and go retrieve i mean it's something you can cover water with really quickly you can cover a big flat like this and put it in front of a lot of fish quickly but it also stops you know it also gives them that dead you know the small jaw in my opinion you know they're, they're like a little pussy cat right you, you ever play with a with a cat, you know, you cast a sock at it or something like that, don't put any hooks on it. But as you reel it back, I mean, if you're just burning it back to the boat, a lot of times they won't smoke it. But if you reel it back and you do that stop and go, just that, it's that triggering effect. And that's one of the major reasons that a jerk bait is so effective when the water temperature's a little cooler. You can cover a lot of water, but it's not going too fast that those lethargic small jaw won't come up and smoke it. There we go. On the pause again. I love it when the fish make me look like I know what I'm talking about. Come on around here, dude. Again, another reason spot lock is so awesome. In the past, I'd be stuck up there fighting this fish, but I can go lounge on my back deck and just chill out and get me a bass. A little tiny one though. Oh, tiny bass, big wave, every hook in my hand. Come here, Junior. Go on, get. I'm catching a few. I'm just kind of figuring out how to get the biggies. The way the fish was hooked is really pretty stereotypical of an early in the year jerkbait fish. I mean, later in the year, you'll get a lot of them right down there, yapper. But this time of year, they're just swatting at it. That bait comes, boom, 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 and then it stops. They look at it, and once it goes to go again, that's when poof, they'll smoke it. but they're not really like engulfing it like they do later in the year. This time of year, they're just kind of swatting at it. Fish on the pause again. on the pause again. We have not caught any giants, but that's the cool thing about these Niagara River small jaw. I mean, they are freaking tough. I always use the analogy and it is the most true analogy. These fish, they live life on a treadmill. So even a small fish like this. And again, you see what he's doing, swatting at it. Even a small fish like this is strong. See, every single one of them been hooked outside the mouth. Pretty stereotypical for early of the year small jaw. I'm throwing Berkley X9. It's a very slick line. You can cast it very, very far, but you notice it's white. And the reason I want that bright white line is because when that's actually paused, when I pause that bait, I'm watching that line, watching the area that line enters the water. Because a lot of times before you even feel a fish, you'll see that white line go Boop! Throw on about a 10 foot fluorocarbon leader and it gives me an advantage, but it doesn't give your bait any disadvantage. Fish isn't gonna see that white line because you got a floral leader. 
but you will pick up strikes on that white line. I guarantee you. Bright line on a jerk bait is almost a must have for me. I've experimented with a lot of different colors over the years too. I mean, bright yellows and stuff like that. For me, the white just stands out on most situations. Believe it or not, even that bright yellow line, for me, it's harder to pick up with your eyes than the white. It's just a stark contrast to the water in most conditions. And unless you want to change your line due to the sun conditions, I would suggest white is a good one to go with. The rods in today's episode were threaded using the RTD rod threading device. Fish on the drop again. Picked it up on the line. Easy. Right when it was just sitting there still. I saw the line go tweak. Even in wind like this, high vis line allows you to pick up on those strikes. It's a bit better one right there. Oh, easy. Oh, you got every hook in them. Ah! ah I'm hooked! No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not hooked. You thought I was, didn't you? Whew. A chunk. And help make the lesson pay off. I mean, I saw that line jump, and even in wind and current like this, you got to remember, that fish moves that bait, that line is going to jump. A lot of times fishing a jerk bait, you're going to have slack in your line, just because that gives the jerk bait more action. And you want the added advantage of visibility in your line to help key in on all those strikes. This fish was never, ever getting off, ever. See ya, look at him sauntering away. Man, it is so, so much fun throwing a jerk bait. I mean, it's just one of my favorite baits because it's just like I said, you can cover water, but you're covering it with that pause, you know, like, I mean, I guess you can do it with a jig, you pop, 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 and then just kill that jig, but it's that subtle subsurface, you know, it, it just sits there. It's neutrally buoyant, it doesn't float away, and they chase up to it, and it just sits there, and then the next time it gets to go, they inhale it. Whatever it is, it's big. Or it's hooked, foul hooked, one or the other. Oh, no, it's a bass. Just swiped at it again. Man, every one of these fish, kind of joked at the beginning, is this the sign or the decoy? But every one of these fish seems to be in a very similar mood, swatting at that bait, and all of them on the paws. Oh, gotcha. So hard to tell the size of these fish. I mean, because every one of them, as you've seen, is hooked on the outside. So as soon as you see it pull on them, you know, not only are they super strong, but you got the current of the Niagara River working against you and the shape of the fish. I promise you, sooner or later, one of these ones that I say feels like a big one is going to be a big one. But that's not bad, a little chunk. See ya. You can see from each of these fish how important it is to have a three hook bait this time of year, just simply because, I mean, they're just swatting at it and it just ups your odds. I mean, I am not a wise man, 
But more hooks mean more opportunities. Fish on the, leaving it on the pause too. It looks like a better one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, it's a giant. It is a giant. It's a river potamus. Oh, get down. This is a giant, giant fish for the river. You gotta be real careful when you're fishing in current like this. When you're pulling this fish, you gotta remember it's not just your pressure. You're pulling against the current and that can pull that bait right out of the fish's mouth. Oh, look at that fish right there. I mean, that's not a giant out on the lake, but for the river, that's a pretty good small jaw right there. There he is, on the pause again. Just leaving it sitting there, man. What do we got here? Oh, another big one. Another tank on the pause. I mean, that bait would just sit, you, you know, pop, pop. That gets its attention. It comes up and then it just sits in front of them and drives them crazy in this super clear, clear water. Oh. Oh, gone! Ow! It's okay. It's okay. I mean, put my camera guy in the arm and the leg. Soak my arm. Fish won that one, okay? It's fine. It's fine. It happens sometimes. Thought I was gonna get fancy with that. Brady, can you get that out of your leg? I'm sorry. This segment is brought to you by Hook Performance Fishing. We got fish. Oh, what? Oh, it's another good one, too. Jumping in the sun for the cameras. Oh, another good one, man. I love it when a plan comes together. Just killing that jerk bait. I mean, this guy, he ate it right on the rip. I mean, that bait had just been sitting there and as soon as I went to go whoop, whack, he smoked it. That is a nice, Looking river small jaw. Big giant. River jerk bait munching monsters. I love it. Face full of hooks. Mm, hold on here. I always find I concentrate better when I squat. Chunk. Yeah. Almost broke my neck, guys. Thanks. Nobody jump. I'll be fine. <laughs> Gee. Freaking death defying. Hand slipped off there. Could have knocked out my two front chocolates. It's okay, I'm fine. Yosh over there just <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Dave's gonna die. That's it. Oh, big one. <laughs> Oh, it's the size of that. Freak. He's just giving up for some reason. He's not. He's gonna. Oh, man. That is a river chunk right there. And I mean, every single one of these fish 
whether it was a rocky shore, a boat dock, it doesn't matter what we fished today, every single one of them has eaten that jerk bait, but I bet you 80% of those hits are right on the pause. See ya. Ooh. I can't stress it, I talk about it all the time. You really, really have to think of lures as tools. When that water temperature is in, you know, mid 50s to 60 degrees, a jerk bait just really, really shines. And it's plain and simple one reason, because you can cover a lot of water, but you can still have that subtle presentation. You get their attention with the rip, wop, 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 and then that pause, is what makes them smoke it. <laughs> Shouldn't do it, it's straight up working. Oh God, oh no. Professional, don't worry. See you next week. Day fish for seven and a half hours, made 413 casts, and caught 18 fish. That's it for the score. Now time for the facts. Dave used a live target yearling bait ball jerk bait thrown on an Abu Garcia Fantasy Supremere spinning rod with a Revo Ike spinning reel, spooled up with 15 pound test Berkley X9 braided line with a fluorocarbon leader. And that's the facts.